it's now possible to upgrade the internal storage on your mid-2013 MacBook or higher. What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac, you see it in my hand right here. This is the Aura SSD from OWC. This is an upgrade to your Mac's internal storage. It comes with this, the Envoy Pro, which allows you to repurpose the old internal storage, the old SSD, and use it as an external drive, which is really convenient. And in typical OWC fashion, everything you need is included in the box so you're ready to go, ready to install the Aura SSD with no other necessary outside tools. So that means you get a pair of Torx screwdrivers, you get a USB cable for the Envoy Pro, uh, you get a couple of screws for the Envoy Pro as well, and of course you get the Aura SSD itself right here. This is a 480 gigabyte version. There is also a one terabyte version available as well. So here is the full package. This is everything you get, and I am ready to go, folks. So let's do this. Here is the screwdriver. Uh, you get a pentalobe screwdriver, which will be used for all of the screws on the bottom of the MacBook's cover. Here is the Envoy Pro, of course. We'll get to that later. And be sure to remove the piece of tape from the heat pad on the SSD. That's very important that you do that. Now we're just going to unscrew all of the screws using the pentalobe screwdriver that they include in the box. You want to make sure you push, push down hard uh, as you're unscrewing these so that you don't strip the screws. Just keep that in mind. You want to give it a little force. And of course, you want to make sure that your MacBook is resting on a surface that won't scratch up or uh, cause damage to the top cover. All right, so once all of our screws are unscrewed, you just pop off the cover right here from the hinge, and it kind of just pops off like that. All right, so now once our cover is off, you're going to see the battery connector. You want to disconnect the battery just by pulling up right here on the battery connector like this. All right, so the battery is disconnected. Now you just want to locate the SSD and unscrew it using the other screwdriver. Pull it out of its little socket like that. And we'll just set it aside. We'll see you in a little bit. Now just grab the Aura SSD with the little piece of tape removed from the heat pad, line it up, and then just slide it in. Make sure it goes all the way in the slot, like that. All right, and then make sure the screw hole matches up, and then you can just use the same screw to screw it back in. Pretty simple. All right, so the next thing we need to do is just to reconnect the battery connector that we disconnected earlier. All right, that's done. And now just put the cover back on and screw the screws back on, just like you took them off. The top two screws next to the hinge will be a little shorter, so just make sure that you don't mix up those screws. Now for the Envoy Pro, you just take the internal stock SSD, slide it in the slot, screw it into place like this, put the cover on, and then screw in the two cover screws, and then use your little black tape to add another non-slip pad to the opposite end of the Envoy Pro. So there you go. So now we're just gonna boot up and install OS X El Capitan using our USB boot disk. It's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. There it is, the OWC Aura SSD. That's it. That's all that's required to upgrade your internal SSD on your mid-2013 MacBook and higher.